What's up guys, welcome back to Jeep TV. I'm Brett, and today we're gonna look at installing a vacuum pump relocation bracket. This is a Bulldog uh, bracket that I got off of uh, Northridge 4x4. That's about $20 after shipping. Um, very, very easy. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see the best way to set this up. I think it either goes, oop, it can go like that or it can go like that. So we're gonna go at the Jeep, take a look at it, and uh, get some of the stuff out of the way, take a look at how the bracket you know, is gonna fit, and I'm also gonna post up a picture of uh, their install instructions and what you can follow. I'm basically going to just use some self-tapping screws to hold this in. That's all you really need to, need to do. Um, it probably would be in your best interest to later probably get someone to weld this on um, just a little tack weld will be fine, but um, you know metal tap screws are just as good. So um, it's not really holding up a whole lot of weight, and it's really not going to be taking any hits or blows or anything. It's going to be up, tucked up tight. So let's go ahead and dive into the Jeep and take a look at it. So basically what we're looking at is your vacuum pump right here. Uh, we're going to try to get it mounted up in this area below the uh, bumper. Um, there's just not enough room over here. There's a brake line here in the way that kind of comes up and over. you got some other wires and you got a frame cross member right there. So um, there's really not too much for room here to get it uh, in there. So we're gonna try to get it right here. We'll just have to get this thing unzip tied. And once we get it unzip tied, we can um, maneuver how we need it and get our bracket mounted up. So let's go ahead and start working on getting this thing undone. So there you go. Now you're free. Let's set that there. So get all this space up here to work with. So this bracket, you can go like this with it. You can go like this with it. Actually. Have to go like, like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, get my screws, uh, mount this uh, up to my bracket, kind of see how it fits best, and then we'll screw this down. All right, guys. So I found a really nice sweet spot for this to go. By the way, I did have to go get some new nuts. Uh, so one inch, it's a 10 millimeter. So, so what I'm, gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this bracket up here. Let me look at it one more time. That's a perfect. All right, guys, new game plan. Um, I'm gonna do mine exactly like my wife's. Um, I'm still gonna get plenty of clearance, and um, I'm just not gonna worry about it. So, um, yeah, I've cut my finger. The fog lights are in the way. The uh, brake lines that go across are in the way. So I'm just gonna make mine um, vertical instead of horizontal. I thought I could fit it in there. I'm sure I could, but um, doing it horizontal 
is a pain in the ass. I did hit my holes that I drilled just a minute ago with some Rust-Oleum black paint. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this up here and install it the way I probably should have from the get-go. Like this. This hole, like that hole, got two holes marked, got some new screws. There we go. All right. Nothing should be in the way. Thank goodness. There it is. There's a the screw we did do, and we painted over it. kind of black it's kind of hard to see there is all right let's go ahead and get this canister up in there have some wiggle room so vibrations won't really get to it when the car rattles and stuff so I should go right up there this is going to plug right on the back of it just like that now we've got the electrical lighting to kind of deal with right here in the way. Then we have this is our plug right here for this. So we have to flip this around. Get this plug back up. Oh man, it's really tight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a zip tie here, get that off of this uh, sway bar. That'll be good. Everything's plugged in. So you can see it through there. So we got to get this light back in. Everything's bolted up nice and high and tidy. So uh, let me get this light in here. And then we'll turn the Jeep on, give it a test. Last thing I'm missing is this little piece right here. It's just a little clip. 
it's kind of a pain to get on here. I don't think I have it on backwards. Let's see. All right, guys, there it is. New vacuum, relocation bracket installed. Got everything zip tied up, nice and neat. Took me a while. Um, got my light back in. So yeah, this thing is pretty uh, high and tight. You can barely see the tip of it up there. So anyway. It's not really a hard thing to do. It's just very tight space, especially when your bumper's still on. So, I mean, you can take your bumper off, but that's just way too much work. All right, guys. It's dark, it's cold. Let's go ahead and test. The little Jeep here, make sure there's no air codes. I think we are going to be good to go. Yep. guys that's gonna do it for this video on the canister relocation bracket for your uh, little vacuum if you guys have any questions please leave them down in the comments um, I'm gonna be continuing on the journey and doing a few more videos I got Halloween coming up I'll probably do some videoing then um, but yeah thank you guys so much for uh, subscribing and watching peace out take care keep jeeping